The legendary Castro Theater is over 100 years old, and its murals are still holding on to its history. If you look on the ceiling and you see these medallions that you can barely see, or these murals on the side here that are pretty faded, they're all going to come back to life. They're going to be spruced up. After Sunday, the theater will close its doors to be restored to its 1922 glory. Finally, we are about to renovate, restore, and rejuvenate the historic LGBTQ film and music venue, the Castro Theater, and it's showing its age. The iconic blade sign on the front, the neon, the roof needs work. It, it's, in, it's in bad shape. She needs a facelift. A facelift that will cost $15 million and take a year and a half. Behind it is another planet entertainment. So how is the stage going to change? It's going to be more accommodating for different types of events, live shows, plus movies. There's going to be um, more room on the stage. I'm not sure exactly how, but there's going to be more room. One of the main changes will be under the stage. So you can see the process of how we uncover the organ now, as opposed to how we're going to do it once the remodel happens. This is one of the major changes. Yes, this is going to be a change. So first, we're getting the largest organ in the world. And then on top of that, um, we're going to get something that's more automated. The original seats on the balcony level will remain the same. New adjustable seating will be installed in the orchestra level, something that was a bit controversial. And for the first time in over 100 years, the entire seating area and the stage will be ADA compliant, making the entire theater more accessible. Now, outside the theater, the Castro Merchants Association is supportive of the change, even if it means no shows here for over a year. The impact it's going to have when it reopens is going to be incredible. And some regulars are already looking forward to Sunday's last show before the remodel. I will, <laughs> even though it's supposed to be a big level three storm. <laughs> you will be here. Yes. Yes, I will be. In San Francisco, Luz Peña, ABC7 News.